What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Another cube draft. Another magic online moment. Let's take necromancy. The Seaver Exarch I could see, but we haven't, like, reanimated anything yet. Teague is basically power. Druid and Exarch both seem better. Sure, okay, but here's what I'm thinking. Uh, I draft mono green regularly, and I draft Splinter Twin regularly, so... Uh, I'm doing the thing where, like, I want to draft the cards I like and archetypes that I have not been drafting consistently. So, that's what I'm going to do. Good times. Good times. Probe is free. Obviously the best card. Obviously. Uh, well, Primeval Titan's pretty good. That's a solid second pick. Yawgmoth's will is cute. Eh, I don't really care about it. I want to take prime time. Black green is a possible reanimate com combination. And I just don't think there's a card better. Like, Primeval Titan's almost power. Simic Signet. No, oh boy. Sad thing is I like Simic Signet better than any other cards in this pack, but it puts us into Sultai again. I don't know, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Um, Path is fine. Diff off color. Ophiomancer is okay. Not super exciting. Signets are Signets in this format, and I'm just going to take the Signet. Birthing Pot is, in my experience, never good. It's just my, like, I, I just feel like it's way too much work to actually get Birthing Pot to work. You have to, like, there's so many decks where I'm like, oh, it only five drops this time. Oh, it only three drops. And then you're just like, all right, cool, my chain sucks. Shut up and take my money. I feel like you just have to have so many creatures that it's like, it's not, it's not good. Kerwit, what up, my dude? Thank you for the yo buck. I kind of like Garrick Relentless here. Pulse might come back, but this gives us a solid stream of creatures and also lets us tutor something up. Oh yeah, Phyrexian Metamorph. For sure. That's a good one. That's a solid gentleman. Never put that dude in the 4-drop. Oh, Null Priest. I like Null Priest a lot, too. I think Oracle's got to be better than Null Priest, though. It's Oracle. Oh, God. They almost took the... Goodness gracious. I've just... Every time I've passed a Birthing Pod and I look at my deck after the fact, I'm always like, yeah, this would have never worked. And I just don't feel like there's a nearly enough creatures that, like...
take armor off here. Oh, questing beast is just solid. Okay, that wasn't. Wow, I really didn't mean to. Didn't mean to select that. I mean, that's what I wanted, but like. I definitely didn't mean to just auto click it. Like, it definitely clicked way too quickly there. The click was too quick. Sphinx is actually pretty decent if we are trying to reanimate things. The funny thing is we also have, like, one black card in the deck, so we're not even necessarily black. But there's nothing else good in this pack anyway, so... This is how it always goes, isn't it? Oh, Hissing Quagmire. Okay. Oh, look, Birthing Pod came back. Terastodon, also pretty sweet. Let's take Terastodon. I'm going. I'm going deeper on the ramp. Slash reanimate. Maelstrom Pulse came back. That's literally what I was expecting. I would take Dryad, but I think Pulse is just a way too better. Uh, too better? A way... Way better. Oh. Sword. Sure. Assassin's Trophy? Wow, they're just giving us all of the green-black cards. That's pretty hilarious. Actually, Signet's real good for us. On color Signet's pretty sweet if we're just playing blue black. Could also take Exhum. We don't have a way to get cards in the graveyard yet. I think it's probably just Signet here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Can you imagine? Solemn Simulacrum is sweet. Bitter Blossom could be good, especially with Sword. I actually kind of like Bitter Blossom here. I'm pretty sure I would have also lost my mind if I misclicked. Woodfall Primus I like a lot. Wall of Roots might be better, but... I don't know. Stone Cold Serpent also just a great option. It's probably Wall of Roots, right? We have a... Yeah, let's take the Wall of Roots. I bet Woodfall Primus even comes back. I kind of like Casualties of War, and I feel like we're in a great deck for it. Vampiric Tutor's kind of meh. I don't know. I, I think Vampiric Tutor's a great card, but I personally don't love it. Actually, Casualties might come back. Let's take the Tutor and see if Casualties comes back. I bet it will.
Woodfall Primus might be one of my favorite big dumb idiots. Yeah, for sure. Murderous Rider seems great here. Yeah, I'll take a Murderous Rider. Yeah, both Maelstrom Pulse and Assassin's Trophy tabled, so I can't really see a situation where it doesn't come back. Ooh, Grave Titan? That's pretty spicy. Yeah, let's take a Grave Titan for sure. We can take a Liliana, but we don't have, to, again, no way to discard things yet, so this guy's probably going to stay over here until we figure out a... The nice thing about Black Green is that you can also just kill their creatures and necromancy those. Necromancy is one of the good ones that... Uh, lets you get from any graveyard. Gilda Goose is fine. Living Death is interesting. I don't think we're living deathing. I think I'd rather just have another one drop. Yeah, I think the difference between like the, the reanimate spells that only get from your yard and the ones that get from any yard are just night and day. Oh, Agadim's Awakening seems amazing in our deck. That's just a free that's just a free land. Where's this where's the turn timber symbiosis that I can keep in the sideboard every game? Golgari Signet came back. I like Hex Drinker a lot, but I like my Hex Drinkers to have their text lined up properly. So I think we're going to take Signet here. Maybe. Actually, Hex Drinker's just real good, right? We're a two-color deck. I'm taking the Hex Drinker. Dang it. Hmm. Natural the natural order potential. Uh, I'll take wasteland. If we see strip mine, we might actually have a, a strong pull to play these these dudes. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, this deck's looking sweet. Shanala, have a good afternoon, buddy. Mm, sure, take a load stone. Like if you look at the deck now, I'm like, oh birthing pot, I have no five drops. Literal three drops is like Ferguson Metamorph is not even a three drop. Murderous Rider. That's interesting. Living Death, the last pick, is pretty interesting. Noble Hierarch. Hmm. How greedy are we? 
We got a Gilded Goose. We got a Simic Signet. <laughs> he can't keep getting away with it. We have Bitter Blossom. Oh, fuck. It's got to be better than Noble Hierarch, right? Come on. Come on. The upside's too high. I can't. Chupacabra seems great, though. We're definitely taking a Chupacabra here. I would love some discard. Oops, didn't mean to type that. Drop my phone. <laughs> oh, no. Did I say anything? Oh, God. Marsh Flats is great, but it doesn't get us our alternative color, unfortunately. Green Sun is interesting. Vraska actually does seem pretty decent with Bitter Blossom. Yeah, I'll take Vraska. I actually kind of like Vraska. Also, we could we could wheel the uh, the Yogmoth, but I think the alternative was more likely wheeling the um, the Vraska and taking the Yogmoth. No, oh, Plow Under seems good. I do like Birds of Paradise though. I think we're taking the birds here. I don't think we're a Plow Under deck necessarily. I think I'd rather just have a a, a creature that consistently untaps my lands. I like an Ugin actually. Ugin also doesn't feel too difficult to to get into play. We have Primeval Titan, we have Oracle, Wall of Roots, 3-1 drops. I think it's probably better than just random Nyssa. Yeah, I think it's just real strong. Oh, there's the natural order for the Progenitus. That's... Yeah, that's... that's I gotta take that, right? What do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 creatures that we can sack to it? Before turn four. Oh, Blooming Marsh or Coercive Portal. This is a lot of four drops. I do like Coercive Portal a lot, though. Hmm. I think it's just Blooming Marsh. Yeah. Let's be safe. Nothing great here. Take Orzhov Signet. It is tough to pass the portal. Especially in a non-blue deck where your card advantage is not um, tremendously great. Hmm. Yeah, Woe Strider. I wonder if Yogmoth's coming back. Carnage Tyrant seems fine. That's a sideboardable dude. I don't care about Tasker. And the Ogmoth did come back. Hmm. No 
Okay. Hmm. I wonder if Raska or Yogmoth are better. Hmm. This is 24 cards. We'd also have to play the Progenitus. Natural Lurk also got Primeval Titan, though, so that's not a terrible alternative. Might just take the Necromancy out. <laughs> we do have Murderous Rider, Maelstrom Pulse, Assassin's Trophy to kill things, but... I mean, we're not putting any of our own things in the graveyard, so it's kind of dependent. It could just be dead. We could just bring it in if we really need it. Sure. I'm not sure you need Choops. I always want Choops. Choops is always beautiful. In quotes. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Shoops is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's true. I saw your shoops in a crowded place, and I don't know what to do. Yeah, we're just black green progenitus with natural order. Seems fine, right? I can see cutting Vampiric Tutor. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. I don't know, like, the, the card disadvantage unless you're... Oh, I totally forgot we had a Lotus. Unless you're comboing with it, I just don't love it. This is our deck right now. Oh god, Progenitus. They're like, put one of each of these. It'll never cast that, though. Um... So this is 6, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you just go 7, 7. 16 lands, a lotus. Oh, we also have Agadim's Awakening, so we can cut one of the lands. 15 lands, lotus, and th yeah, this seems good. One blue? What are you saying right now? For what? We only have Metamorph. And we have Signet for that anyway. We don't have Fallen Shinobi. It's in the sideboard now. I'd rather not mess up my manas. Uh, we do not have a way to pitch Proggy Man. <laughs> oh boy. This seems fine. Oh boy. Okay. You got it.
interesting. I'm almost tempted to just play Quagmire Lotus Garrick here. The reason being, we have nothing bigger to spend it on, and this does give us a slight advantage here. And, like, the problem is, like, if we draw Primeval Titan, we can play it in two turns, but... Oh, that's interesting. Garrick doing the work there. Why'd you play Jace when I have Garrick Relentless out? That's weird. Main phase impulse. Okay. And chart, of course. Very strange. He wants you to fill his yard for treasure cruise. I mean, it's looking more and more likely now, yes. They discarded a black cleave cliffs. Eugene. Could attack with quags. I think I'd rather just keep trophy up in case they do some shenanigans. Nothing again, huh? Oof, interesting. I feel like these, uh, the threat here grows exponentially. <laughs> this turn it's five. Next turn it's eight. Here we go. No, pissed I mind. You got it. My life is broken. My life is true. I found your language. I saw your face. And I don't know what to do. Seems pretty good. Now we get to just kill Kiki Jiki. Kiki Jiki. Um. Cast will destroy a creature and a land. Creature. Land. Oh, we could have just killed them. We could have just won. <laughs> we could have just literally uh, garricked their Kiki Jiki and attacked with Quagmire. Yeah, that would have been better. Oh, well. Give him an extra turn. Sure. I mean, I don't see what the red blue deck's going to be able to do, but especially when we have we still have Hissing Quagmire on board. Um, do we have anything that's, like, decent against Kiki Jiki yeah, Splinter Twin that is not in the deck already? Pernicious Deed, maybe, but I think our deck's good. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this seems good. Snap Keep.
So next time we can go Wall of Roots and Bitter Blossom. Oh wow, Ancestral. Seems good. Man, every time, huh? Good grief. Okie dokie. Sure. Discarded Kavu and Impulse. Okie dokie. Huh. I think it's actually just Questing Beast here. Be nice. All right, well, we have no cards in hand. Here comes Ancestral Recall. Wow, you know what's better than one Ancestral Recall? Two. You're getting to draw six extra cards in a game. Sure. That's pretty interesting. I'm just gonna kill my Wall of Roots? You know the thing can't hold a sword, right? It's pretty good. I'm at a point where I just want to keep a card in my hand if it prevents them from considering to combo. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sounds good. Boy, it's really easy to do that when you draw eight extra cards in a game. Yeah, I kind of do like Yawgmoth for that purpose. Um, let's take out Ugin. Ugin seems a little slow. Tyrant seems a little slow. Oh, what up, Jimmy? Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Well, considering they have... I mean, we're definitely going to have to play this guy on turn 4 and level it up the turn we play it, because... Come on, just give me lands. Give me, like, three lands in a row, and I'll be totally grateful.
Okay, it's a good start. I mean, let's... Like, they have to tap out. They have to not have instant speed one. They're just gonna kill in response? No, not yet. Okay. I mean, I'm sure they have chain lightning, but then they gotta do it on their turn. It's fine. If we hit a fourth land, we have multiple things that we'd rather play, so... Sure. Okie dokie. Alright, these lands are been, have been decent. No fight? Should have attacked first there. Oh, they killed the one that can't attack this turn. I guess everything is going according to plan. Every game. <laughs> absolutely every game. You're going to exert this and kill the fairy? Yeah, that'd be weird. Oh, okay, I guess... I guess so. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Boy. Okay. <sighs> if we get to untap and go casualties, it's going to be pretty good. Chart, of course. Oh my god. Oh my god, please just give me one land. Kill land, Mox, Doretti, Glorybringer. Oh boy. Next two cards land. No, oh, come on, one time, one time, one time. It's incredibly frustrating. I mean, Vraska survives, I guess, so that's something. And they only have three cards. They were tapped out last turn, so, like, just drawing a fucking land would have been such an insanely good... Instead, we drew Progenitus. <laughs> so, like... Okay. Artifact, creature, land, planeswalker. Hmm. Now they have now they have Sheldock up. This is so stupid, dude. I, I I'm like flabbergasted that we didn't draw land last turn. Like
Yep, might as well go for it, I guess. Turn artifact, creature, land. Planeswalker, sure. Artifact, creature, land. Yep, never resolving. It's okay. <laughs> Fucking amazing. Must be nice. Super infuriating. We had like literally we need one fucking chance. One 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 land, dude. Let me guess. Kiki Jiki's under there and you're gonna copy Glormir. Colagon's command making me discard a card. Cool. And what else did you do? Returned Walking Ballista to your hand. That's kind of weird. Sure. Should have attacked first. I'm just playing till I'm like not playing my best because obviously I have really shitty decisions to make here. <sighs> like this fucking one glory burn is just actually de demolishing us despite the fact that we're drawing multiple cards with Vraska every turn. Actually, late to the party. Cool. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> fucking love it. Oh, this has been a fun game. They chose not to discard anything last turn, it looked like. Oh, what up, mean mean McMugs? <laughs> oh, hi again. Sometimes when I don't when I don't see Katie's chat, she'll message me on Facebook and tell me that she's saying hi in the chat. She'll also tell me that she's saying funny things when, when I'm not able to see them or respond. Yep. <laughs> okay. Sounds good.
my jokes are funny and deserve to be read aloud. You know, it's not incorrect. Cool. <laughs> Tequila. <laughs> <sighs> they have eight cards left in their deck, so we have to assume that, like, they're... Okay, now they have six. So we have to assume, like, Pestermite, Kikijiki are in here somewhere. And they're probably just going to kill us with it right now. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. They can't do it now. Sure. So even if you... You gotta untap a land, play land, play Kikijiki? Yep, cool. <laughs> <laughs> fucking love it. Every single turn we're behind the fucking gun, but they never never don't have it when they have five cards left in their library. Yep. Cool. Cool. Super cool. Yes. Good times. Here comes a uh, hero blade hold. Hmm. Sword. It's actually a fine turn. I actually kind of like it in the Garrick down. Plus there's not many cards that Garrick can kill as opposed to Choops, which can kill pretty much anything. Wow. Oh boy. Oh, come the fuck on, dude. It's really frustrating. Okay, <laughs> I guess not that frustrating. Oh boy. Well, sure. It's gonna be my hand every turn, every game. I don't understand. So we can get four mana on turn one. Use two of it to cast this. Then we have three left over. We can go Lotus. We can go Wall of Roots Bitter Blossom on turn one. It's not terrible. It's not great. I'm probably just keeping this and playing Garrick on turn one. This is a good six-card hand, but this is really... 
obnoxious and like this is typical like this is par for the course i'm pretty sure every time we play natural order with progenitus it's always in our opening hand I mean, this should be pretty effective. It gets a bunch of dudes down. We can also play Bitter Blossom next turn. We do need a green source. If we get a green source, we can play Wall of Roots and Gilded Goose. We could also just fingers crossed that they hit him to Torak us and hit Progenitus. Hmm. Agadim's Awakening, huh? Okie dokie. Uh, you think Goose, Wall of Roots, and Bitter Blossom was the better play? That's interesting because we drew the Gilded Goose the next turn, so I don't know how that could have been the better play. We didn't have Goose in hand, right? Like, we drew Progenitus, and then we drew Agadim's Awakening. Is that, did we draw this for the our opening turn? Maybe we did. No, I don't think we did. I think you had it in hand, but I could be... Man, you guys are all... You guys are all critics. Maybe. Maybe. I have no creatures, but I will play a sword. This is where they go... Mm, Buster might. Okay, fine. Sure, you got it. Good deal. Okay, okay. Do we go do we go Varansky? They have four cards. Yeah, sure. How many counter spells can they have, you know? Are we gonna get Splinter Twinned out a second time? Not yet. Okay. Being able to keep Murderous Rider up seems good. One, two, Wall of Roots, Murderous Rider. Oh, were they going to kill my Vraska? Okay, I'll sacrifice Vraska. Hmm. This is even better. Wall of Roots. Bird. Still keep up Murderous Rider. I'm going to play the Awakening there. Wow, 
Oh, this is rude. Remember that time we could have played Academia's Awakening? Should have done it. Alright, well, they're not doing anything that's going to kill us. Okay. Draw a card. That's fine. Katie, you still working down there? Thieving Skydiver and Dire Fleet Daredevil. Both blanks right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um. <laughs> I'm reading papers, she said sadly. Is two Grave Titans good? I don't know. In interesting. I don't foresee the red-blue deck having a way to kill two Grave Titans. I could see them upheavaling, which doesn't seem great. Or we could just win the game. Alright. Perhaps, I don't know, a boat you're in. Well, he mentioned earlier that he's studying for exam the week after next. Come on, get it together. None other, I didn't really see anything that was super... Like, what did we see? We saw, like, literally a young, bust, yust, yusted pyromancer? What's that dude called? Greater pyromancer? Ugin too expensive? I don't think so, but... Seasoned! Deliciously seasoned pyromancer. From our kitchen to yours. Oh god, we have the we have the natural order. Let's see if we can draw the progenitus in the next two turns. If they don't have a way to kill this guy... Are they gonna daze it? Ooh, they could have daze. Jason Biggs, that was the young pie romancer. Wow, that is so good. I don't even know how to... Oof, look at this guy. I think they shut down my drinker. Nothing, can't do nothing. I'm not going to attack because natural order, you know? You know what I'm saying? If we can finish this this draft for the progenitus, wouldn't that be just perfect? Okay. Progenitus coming through. Do, 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 do. Just tap out. Tap out for something dumb. Oh, that's something dumb. Oh, but they're not... <gasps> oh, oh, oh! So you had a bad day. You get a good progenitus. I 
out of your dick. Ooh. Ooh. Oh man, that's gonna do it. That's the ticket. What do they got? What could they possibly have? That's fine. Okay. You got it. We'll just cast Chuparina. Oh, they just can see. Oh, God. Once, once MTGO lags, like, even the slightest, you're like, oh, I think they're conceding. Don't care about you. You actually do something relevant on the board. And we'll see if you can win next turn. I wonder if they knew Fiery Confluent. I couldn't I couldn't equip Sword of Fire and Ice to Progenitus. They're probably like, oh shit, I don't want you to equip it, so I'm going to get rid of it right now. Yeah, that's why I was like, oh, alright, you can kill it, I guess. Thank you guys for watching. 2-1. Feels much better than that first round. I got real salty at that first round. Hopefully you guys stuck with it, because I think our deck was good. It was a solid blue-black, black-green black mid-range deck. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, I'm not leaving if you're watching on Twitch, but if you're watching on YouTube... I appreciate you watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out mandatraders.com. They have an amazing subscription service for Magic Online. Uh, you can get 15% off with a link and promo code down below. Be sure to use that. Check out my new articles every week at Cool Stuff. And I'll see you later, guys. Thanks for watching.